I think it's time that we talk about the one year review of the Tango Down magazines. Did I love them? Did I hate them? Did they break? Did my gun blow up? Did I get killed in the streets? Are they the best thing ever? Do I recommend them? Well, I think it's time that we talk about it. Let's do it. Well, let's get right into it. I have been running through a case of these for over a year, taking them around the country. I've got a big ammo can full of them and I let students use them. I have put a bunch of them in the hands of my instructor brothers and told them, do your worst and let's just report back to Jeff at Tango Down and let them know what's up. A couple things. Uh, when he was tasked with making a better magazine, it wasn't just for you and me to be able to say his magazine's better. Because truth be told, most of us that go out and buy an AR mag are not gonna really do enough to them to abuse them. This was made for the hard use of automatic fire. And you know, we put these things into our ARs. Fire, bolt reciprocates, fire, bolt reciprocates. And most of us, we do a couple mag dumps. We can't afford to do much more. But when you start talking about weapons of war, these things are getting a lot of heat, a lot of abuse, and the other magazines on the market are not getting the job done for some of those specific tasks. This was the answer to that. How does that translate into my needs? Well, if it's good enough for that super high level of abuse, it's probably gonna do a good job for me. Some of the things it does better. The uh, feed lips made to be more durable than other polymer uh, uh, magazines on the market. The material, part of the reason that it's shot in two uh, sections here, by shot I mean molded in two sections, is this material is a much higher grade of polymer than other polymer mags. The reason it's shot in two is some of you guys that are in the plastic injection business know that if you shot this all in one big mold, you may end up with different temperatures that are going to give you a different result than what you're looking for. So by forming it in these two sections, you get a better result overall. They are glued together with a permanent glue. I used a sledgehammer and totally destroyed one. This does not come apart. This glue is the same glue I'm told that glues uh, the uh, uh, sheet metal on a big airplane, like you know 737s and stuff that glues that metal together. Um, I don't know what kind of glue it is exactly, but it's some super high grade, probably super expensive polymer that's not coming apart. You've got some cool features like texture. You can hear my fingernail on there. So you've got this ribbed for your pleasure section front and back of these magazines. And then you've got a really aggressive texture that I would liken to um, like, like a real aggressive pistol texture job uh, on a new pistol. The bases, you can order them rounded. This is all one part. It doesn't pop off or you can get flat. I really dig these because I like to shoot um, prone a lot and put my, my magazine in the dirt if possible. A couple other things. You guys have all realized that some magazines on the market, if you load them up a lot, um, you can't get them to go into a closed bolt of an AR. Uh, there's not enough movement with 30 rounds. So I'm gonna overfill this one. I'm gonna fill it up till there's no more, so that's it. Close the bolt on my blaster and you can see it goes right in. And the reason is they've just made a little bit more room in there, just a little bit more room so there's still just enough for that uh, follower to compress just a tad. Some of the other features on here that are noteworthy is they looked at a lot of, a lot of lower receivers out there. And so some of the dimensions here are taking into account the variables that exist in the firearms that are on the market. So this is going to do a good job in the most amount of receivers. That's cool, right? Um, the window's cool. Uh, it's definitely a nice thing to see. And let's talk about the follower. So a lot of people, I see the other videos of these I've shared. I go, what is this? So it comes apart? No, as I stated, it's not meant to come apart. In fact, there's no way to take this apart. It's intended to be built so durable that you're basically going to use it for its whole life and replace it. 
Uh, to some people, that's a problem. Uh, how many of your magazines have you ever rebuilt? I have rebuild kits for AR mags. I have rebuild kits for Glock mags. And yes, I've replaced a follower or something. But what Tango Down has done is they said, let's just make it so durable that it just, for most people, is going to outlast anything that they need. And so far, for the year of abuse, I've got zero issues. One of the things you'll notice, so the follower has got some cool ports in it. The reason for that is if I get stuff in here, I can get stuff out without having to take the magazine apart. Uh, one of the things that uh, Jeff and I talked about is you could take this, make a bucket of soapy water. I'd use some gunfighter uh, gun cleaner is what I would use, or maybe like a really heavy detergent. Soap it up, shake it around, rinse it out, hang them upside down to dry, leave them in the sun for a day or two to dry out, and away you go. Um, the spring, I'm told, is one of the higher grades of spring steel available. So there's just a lot of thoughtful little features that make this magazine, it's like, a, I'd call it a legacy mag. So if you're gonna go out and all you're gonna buy is five or 10 magazines, they cost a couple bucks more, but you're gonna basically have them forever um, with cool features. Like I really have gotten to the point now, like I've got plenty of the other polymer mags and steel mags. I've got no problems with the aluminum and steel magazines but I've gotten so used to this texture that now if I've got a ammo cans full of these things, uh, if I grab one of the other ones from my uh, other ammo cans, I'm like, can I please get the Tango Down mags? They feel so much better. And it's just the little things that matter. So if you're a connoisseur of cool stuff, if you're a connoisseur of good things, if you're a connoisseur of American made quality, if you like to support good companies, I can wholeheartedly say that these magazines uh, are worth it. I can say that they, uh, I have put thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds. This isn't some go to the range one afternoon and do a few mag dumps and give it a thumbs up. Over a year, they've been traveling all over the country, every class. If you look at any pictures that we've posted, you'll pretty much always see one of these dangling out of one of my radians. And I abuse stuff out in the rain, in the mud. I'm throwing them to people. And I'm not trying to break them, but I'm not trying to baby it. And I'm being hard to see when will it, when will it break, what will break. Uh, haven't broke, they keep working. They keep working very nicely. I uh, haven't seen any uh, failures in the feed lips. I run these guns really hard. I've seen no deformation of the feed lips. So that's it, Tango Down, great product, uh, good magazine. Why don't we shoot a little before we go, just so that we can have some fun. We'll walk on back to the 50 and sling a little lead at this piece of TA Target Steel, which a plug for my other friends, TA Target Steel, in my opinion, is the best steel on the market. Most durable, uh, best built, best engineered, longest lasting. If you've trained with us, you've trained on TA Target Steel because I bring this stuff out to every class and we abuse the snot out of that too. We abuse the snot out of that too. All right, let's check this out. We'll do a couple rounds out here. And back here from 50, force a reload, see what that looks like. Ready? Up! Yeah, working nice. I have dug these and I think you will too. Check them out. We'll leave you with this little sizzle reel.